Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. We're gonna see what the energy is that is popping off currently, okay? And I feel like, honey, it is popping off. We just had summer solstice a few days ago and there has been a huge energetic shift, okay? So this is all signs. If this resonates, you're gonna know. And speaking of no, your first card is no. Look at what I stopped on. There's something better. Look, no, there's something better. Oh, don't you just love when shit like that happens? In the near future, perfect timing. I mean, you see how everything just sort of falls into place just like that. That's the beauty about the universe. It's so intricate and it's so intelligent. There are no accidents. There are no accidents. There's a huge shift that's happened. Someone here might realize you know what? This thing that was consuming me, that I was so sad about, I finally realized it ain't for me. It wasn't, it wasn't good enough for me. There's something way better out there that I cannot even imagine for myself, but the universe is saying, no, we're gonna close every door. We're gonna, we're gonna you know, have these things not work out in romance and, and relationships because something you cannot even imagine is waiting for you in the wings. How soon in the wings? When? Well, when the time is right, in the near future. Would you rather it say never? Sometimes we're like, what does that mean in the near future? Fuck. Um, bitch, it could be worse. It could say never, ever, ever, ever. All right, here we go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh my God, bitch. Oh my God. Sudden wealth seven 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 is it luck or alignment well it's one and the same someone's luck changes luck be a lady tonight bitch the alignment is taking place and it may be subtle at first seven subtle seven Excitement's ramping up a little bit. There's change. Holy fuck, there's movement. Oh gosh, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Oh my God, oh my God. And then the last seven hits, boom, seven. Oh, see how it is? See how that works? <laughs> you can't make it up. Seven, seven, seven. At first, very subtle. Second seven hits. Oh. Third one, total disbelief. I feel like when it actually happens, this job, this career thing, this relationship, it's pure total disbelief at first. Imagine if you hit that, 777. I mean, I Vegas is one of my favorite fucking places. I'm from Hawaii, honey. We love to gamble. I have four aces on the back of my arm. You see that right there, honey? We love to gamble. Okay, my papa, my Filipino papa, I mean, his favorite place is Vegas. That's where they vacationed all the time. No bullshit. Every three months, they were in Vegas. When I tell you the excitement I get when I hit any kind of jackpot or anything like that, oh, it's and it's disbelief for a split second. Do you see what I'm saying? For for like that split second, you're almost like no. But then you know the the, the ding, ding 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 ding. All the lights kind of flash and it splashes on your screen and your and your your slot machine basically locks up and and it'll just flash on there. Winner winner chicken dinner. <laughs> disbelief I, I can't believe my eyes does it really say that holy fuck did this person really just email me that i got the job did they really just email me and say they want to hire me for this that they want a book deal with me oh my god did did the love of my life that i thought that was my crush i didn't even realize my crush has a crush on me they just messaged me total disbelief it's the it's when pigs fly it's when pigs fly i've been channeling when pigs fly for a fucking couple years honey heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other now we're rolling into love hunty talking about you know you're gonna get messages or whatever from someone it may be shocking you may get a love confession i've been feeling that very heavily the past few days Someone maybe realizes that they love you, you or them. Put yourself where you belong, energy is fluid. Or 
they realize they've got to cough it the fuck up. It's very, it's very speak now and forever hold your peace vibes. There's going to be a conversation slightly out of the blue. And for some of you, not really. See, there was deception. Seven of swords. Someone was keeping something to themselves. They weren't. They need to confess something. They might confess, I've always been in love with you. The time wasn't right. Remember, perfect timing. If the time wasn't right in the past, well, how the fuck is it going to work? If they were still going through something, if they weren't the right vibration or you weren't. Now, let's say, for example, this is a brand new person you ain't never met yet. How will this come about? Well, it could be when you guys first meet. One of you sort of is poker faced, keeps their feelings to themselves. Plays a little hard to get even though they really want it. I don't know how it's going to fucking work. But it'll be something where it's deception. They're not speaking up. See? Poker face. King of swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Poker faced. Not, and this is emotionally detached. Look at that. I mean, and look at the picture. Look at his face. Poker faced. Poker faced. Told you. Three of cups sitting here. Some of there's a, could be a possible third party situation. And I don't necessarily mean cheating because I don't feel that. Meaning someone could have been dating someone else at the time. That's why I was in perfect timing. Nine of Wands. This person is not the most open and vulnerable. Wounded warrior here. They're, they're, they're sort of jaded. And that could have been why they didn't open up. Maybe because they always thought it was one-sided or you. Well, I didn't say nothing because I just assumed I was the only one or I just thought it wasn't even an option or I just thought maybe I was fucking crazy and I was the only one feeling it. That could be the conversation some of you have as well. <clears throat> well, I didn't think it was an option. I didn't think you'd ever be interested. And they're like, well, I thought the same fucking thing. Oh. Oh, okay. Imagine that. Look at that, the empress sitting on her throne. Mm, mm, mm. The Empress is the queen. She is the goddess. The Empress symbolizes pure abundance. It's birth of a new cycle, but there's it's birth of something beautiful and new. It feels like it's birth of a new relationship, and it's been one a long time in the making. It's giving me the vibe of if this is new, it's the connection, or you guys, or it's it's not the first time you met. Now, whether that means it's because it's past life. And you 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 haven't met yet in this life. That could be very possible. I don't know, man. But for some of you, I feel like you may have already. You, it's not a new person. Justice, Libra. <sighs> the hanged man. Change in perspective. Someone sees something differently. Do they see it here? Is it because a third eye is cracking open? That was the energy that was coming through on the live I did today on my Instagram, XI underscore Missy underscore XI, because we had the unicorn sitting right here still. Unicorn symbolizes third eye chakra. The thing about the unicorn, though, is that it's that whole disbelief again, tying into the whole sudden wealth energy. The disbelief of, is that a fucking unicorn? I thought they didn't exist. I didn't know I would ever see one in person. I didn't fucking know. Imagine your third eye cracks open. Remember how when our third eye cracked open? Holy shit. A whole new world. Honey, it's a whole new fucking world the third eye cracks open. So change in perspective here. Someone could see something differently. They see something they didn't see before because now they see it. Mm. Tricky. Mm -hmm. Very tricky. Six of Wands, there is victory here. Someone has some kind of, it almost feels like good news. People are congratulating them. Congratulations, oh my God, yay, you got the job, yay, you got the promotion, oh my God. It's like a huge congratulation. Oh, the magician. Someone here could have manifested this, magic. It's a manifester. Someone here is extremely powerful because they know that they have the power to co-create with the universe. Wow, look at that. Big dick energy coming in. King of Pentacles. 
King of Pentacles could be someone who is wealthy, very balanced, very successful, very aligned. There's a peace with the with the King of Pentacles. It's very peaceful. There's a calmness to him, right? Oh, the lovers. Gemini, but the lovers is just that. It's lovers. Falling in love. Mutual attraction. Magnetic. There's this sort of realization that takes place here. Holy fuck. It's you? Holy fuck. It's me. Holy fuck. It's us. That's for some of you. Oh, big dick energy. Real heavy and hot. Look at that. The emperor. I mean, you have the emperor and the empress. These are basically counterparts. It's the mother father energy. King, queen, obviously emperor, empress, you know, vibes. The emperor is the conqueror. The emperor, I heard he closes the deal. That could be someone's job. They close the deal. That could be it, okay? Could be a pun. But it also can be that he closes the deal in the in the aspect of finally comes forward and says some shit, has an honest conversation, and seals the deal, closes the deal there. By being honest, I feel like there, there's a conversation that has been, it's been brewing. The King of Cups. I'm telling you right now, the, the conversation is, it has to do with feelings. I think, I think I'm in love again. Oh, every time I sing that song, it takes me back to a few years ago when I first started my YouTube channel and I was sitting in my kitchen at the apartment on the beach and I would sing the shit out of that during my lives on YouTube, my videos. It just always takes me back. I think I'm in love again. But that's this. The realization might be all fucking dramas too. And if you're like me and you have a Capricorn moon, we're real dramatic as shit, but we're cold too. So for the first seven minutes it's drama. Oh, oh my, oh my God. Oh. Seven, seven, seven. It's the love of my life. Oh my God. The message says they love me. They've always loved me. Me. Oh my God. I met the love of my life today. It's finally happened. However it works, right? For me, it's about a good seven minutes. I'm dramas. And then, no, I'm just kidding. It's kind of like that, but poker faced. See, that's why some of you could be the poker face ones. Oh Lord. It's like when it finally happens, just total pure disbelief. Is this love? Is this love? Is this love? Look at that release. Oh, God. Somebody opens up to you, honey. That's the that's the death card. Number 13. Scorpio. Death. Transformation. Someone completely opens up. But it also has this vibe to it of that like their muggle meat suit shell is being opened up. And now their real self is, is, is shown. Their, their, their higher self. Basically, this this feels like it's, you know, ascension. Someone here now is awakened. Ooh, throat chakra. Told you, bitches. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There's that fucking throat chakra. How many of you guys past few months, like me, have had throat issues or swallow things or whatever? But that's a communication. They've got to speak the fuck up. Look at that love abounds. Yeah, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does, because it's coming. Look at that, there's an eye in here, third eye. Everything today was about the third eye, all seeing eye. They see it now because they see it. Now they've got to speak it. You or them. <laughs> the release here also talks about releasing everything that they've kept to themselves. And for some of you, if this is a brand new person, obviously, you might find that like, you go, oh my God, like, I've been waiting so long to meet someone like you. And, oh, my God. And it's like this outpouring of that. And it's like a release of, oh, my God. It's, it could be a release of, like, an exhale. Like a, whew, finally. 
finally. Aww. All right, let's get into the extended. Should you wish to rent it, click on that upside down triangle below. Before we do that, I want to show you guys the pre-orders are available for the crystal keychains. All right, I do bracelets. These are crystal keychains. You have the I am love one with the Celtic knot heart here, okay? You also have my daughters doing them. Um, the Virgo, as well as Aquarius keychains. Those are the only zodiac signs that are available because she's Virgo Aqua. So we're doing them very small. There's these gorgeous constellation charms on them, okay? They're crystals. So just like my bracelets, they are sound charge and they are Reiki charge. Pre-orders available on my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com. Um, they will be um, sent out in the middle of next month, July. Also available on my website is my Magic Moon Water. I have an I Am Love one to promote love, self-love, and to call in romance, right? Just like my I Am Love bracelet. As well as my Wish Upon a Starfish Magic Moon Water. Because as you guys know, one of my old school bracelets is Wish Upon a Starfish. You see that? So why not have Magic Moon Water, which was charged under the Strawberry Full Moon. Look at that. All right, so this is one of my old school bracelets, Wish Upon a Starfish, and it's gonna actually be intention sprays. You can spray it on your jewelry, you can spray it on yourself, right, aromatherapy, but it also is gonna be sound charged and Reiki charged as well. So there's lots of goodies available for pre-orders, okay, you guys? All right, in that link below, you're gonna see my Patreon link. If you love erotic tarot readings, I do them there, as well as some bonus ones, so follow me on Patreon. Um, if you want to book a session with me, remember the only way to do it is email me, saltwaterhillstarot at gmail.com. And no, I would never DM you or reach out to you or solicit you on Instagram. Those are frauds. Don't get duped. I only have one account on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And when you email me for a session, all of my pricing is in that description page below. Put it in your email, the price of the the, the um, session you want, so I know what to invoice you. I only invoice via PayPal, and I need to know how much to charge you, basically, okay? All right, you guys, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Love you. See you in your extended. Bye.